there well a lot of questions may be answered yes welcome guys yeah it's on my phone i do i don't want to do it on my um camera i always, always do video reviews on my camera but i always do watch church on my phone um what an episode it was it was brilliant fantastic and emotion um really really good so yes oh a lot of questions yes there is a lot of questions to be answered to yes there is yes there is Yes, there is. So, so, um, so, um, Beth, thank, so thanks to Beth and, um, and there is a third, there was a third person, third person who was so, uh, insulted, um, by the same attacker. Yeah, now we know there's a third woman now, um, who got attacked by the same attacker. So could this connect to Laura, um, Lauren, um, and Trish? Trish, yeah. We don't know. We have to find out. Mm hmm. But yeah, um. As we found out, um, they've been prepared to be free. All sets of keys in Lord Lucas's mission straw. Leo's girlfriend says he owes her favors. Then catch up on the phone. And is it signature? Um, being far too obvious. We don't know. Um, I don't know who's the attacker. I'm. I'm not guessing this year. I'm not guessing who's. The attacker in this series. I know um, we have like, oh, who killed Danny? And I, uh, uh, but I'm not guessing. I'm not guessing who it is. I'm just going to be shocked who it is. Um, I know I've got two people in mind who could be the attacker. Um, It could be an attacker. I don't know. But yeah. Was Aaron Mayford on the night Trish was attacked? Uh, this is, was um, for many times, of course. Um, nobody likes Aaron Mayford very much. When his alibi for the night of Trish's attack was revealed to be false, there were gasps of surprise in Broadchurch's police station. His car, nowhere to be found... On the CCTV footage of the route of the elevator to beach and frozen mannequin, uh, mannequin he consumed the deal narrated around where nowhere to be found his fridge. So where m was Mr. Bayford on the night in the, in the in question and could be linked to both Laura and Trish's attacks. But yeah, he doesn't know Laura. That's what I'm worrying about. So yeah. Where was Leo during the attack? So Leo, rope boy Leo, well back to well, um, Leo asked um his girlfriend to, uh, um where she was. So yeah, so where was Leo in the attack? Not to mention he's uh, unlimited access to foot football teams socks. Speaking of which. Yeah. So yeah. It was great. So yeah. I don't know what I'm figuring out where it was Leo on the night. Leo was Leo told his girlfriend to like like say I'll oh, head home with a kebab but her version of events was roping it roping it. It was clear the pair were lying through their teeth. Lying through their teeth, yeah. So yeah. Hmm. But yeah. Who was 
who does the sock belong to? Yes, that was the question. They found a sock on the in the of the pot where the pipe was held. Um, Hardy and Miller. So it could belong to one of the boys. We both. We know both Lucas and his steps are enjoying a kick about too. Could it belong to one of them, or does it come from a kit owned by a team sponsor, Jim Eightwood? Oh, we don't know. If it's Jim, I'd be surprised. If it's Jim, I'd be surprised. If it's not, like, I'll okay. go. It's him or her. But yeah, trip like, on that. What was Jim and Trish insane chat about? Yeah. I don't know what it was about. Like, mm hmm, mm hmm. Just saw two friends talking. Jim replied, looked like more about that. Lucas smirked, and then Jim toned him, pulled over, grabbed him around the neck, and almost choked him out. Take from that will. So, yeah, he has got a violent side, Jim has. That's what's like, OMG, what? Like, like, what? Jim's got violent sides. So, hmm. But yeah, um, Henry, uh, Larry Henry's character, he punched Jim at the end, nearly at the end of the episode. So, yeah. Ed, Ed, yeah, Ed, and punched, um, Jim. So, yeah. That was the end of the episode. But yeah, at the end of the episode, in the closing scenes of the episode, I'll get back to that. In the closing scenes of the episode, we see um, the camera got folds on to Trish's daughter and Trish, and then we see a door open, the conservatory door open, but it was um, none other than t Is it Tim? Oh, yeah, none other than Trish's ex husband. Yeah, Trish's ex husband. Yeah, I, I'm personally like, I know why he's there. He's looking for the laptop of course he's after the laptop and what has he got on the laptop um what has he got on the laptop that's what i want to know has he got the f did he film did he film um yeah did he film the scenes uh did he film um trish getting raped and um, sexual abuse or or and send it to um a porn site that's when where the boys found it or something else we don't know <coughs> yeah Ed Jim it's just like yeah Ian Ian yeah Ian it's just like Ian's just like he broke into the house of her his ex and he's just like he wants the laptop so he's got something on the laptop we don't want it to see so is it the video of Trish getting raped or at, and him filming it the second person with the light and of him filming it or is it something else? We don't, I think it's the. Vi I think he filmed. I think he was there that night of he, um Trish getting raped, and he filmed it while um someone he knows, someone he knows um, someone who he knows um raped her. So, but yeah, we don't know. So carry on. What has Mark got planned for jo Joe Miller? Yes, we have. We had a shock return, Joe Miller returning. Uh, well, Mark was finding, finding where was Mark. And yes, Mark found Joe. 
And yeah, um, he know he told Maggie he was heading to Scotland, but where he checked the road signs, he was in fact in Liverpool to see where. Will he confront it? It's kind of what um, son's killer. Will he seek revenge or we walk away? We highly doubt that. that uh, but yeah, Daisy. Let's talk about Daisy Harder. Um, Daisy Harder. Um, Hardy's. Hardy's um, daughter. Let's talk about her. Yes, we found out what has been going on with her. She told her dad, his dad, uh, her dad, um, the full story. And someone, well, he, she sent a specific picture online. Um, to of uh, um online, and someone got hold of it and sell it around p- people she knew, and so yeah, so um, and the locks like, oh Daisy, what have you done? And I and yeah, I was just like, what? Paul, I said, Paul Daisy actually, yeah, pull her and. Because she said, oh, you're never around. And that, because um, a lot of on cases. And, yes, yeah, I'm on a case. And so it's always the cases that, um, you're, you care about. Yeah. I feel the same way. I, I feel, I feel um, the same way that, that Daisy um, feel about her father not being there. And, that, and Daisy said, I don't want to be here. Because of what happened of the specific picture and um, exposed picture of her, and yeah, so he went around and so the boys, that and Daisy said, "Oh, the boys, like, that's why the boys are come after me and all that." So what? But yeah, so episode five of Borchers. We only got three episodes left, guys. So episode five of Borchers, I'm gonna give it a nine. Point two, a nine point four out of ten because it was really, really good and fantastic. Board Church continues next Friday and la, 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 next Monday at nine pm, guys. So yeah, don't forget to keep on subscribing to my channel. Click here, no, click here to subscribe and click here to watch my last week's review of Board Church. Hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Give this a big thumbs up. Yeah, give this a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of this week's Board Church. And see you for another fantastic video with me, not so funny comedian. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Bye!